Hello guys, this is Donald's Movies and you're watching the 24th episode of the Lore Q&A. So today I'll be answering the questions you guys left on the previous video and if you'd like to get your questions answered, make sure to put them on the newest Q&A Lore video and also I could answer some of your questions without featuring them in the video, although I can feature them in a the video as well on Facebook and Twitter, I can answer your questions faster that way and also you can send your longer questions by YouTube personal messages. Anyway, let's start. Byron asks, Couldn't the Titans kill Sargeras? If so, why don't they kill him and stop the Burning Legion? Okay, so Sargeras was a Titan and he was, if you read a little bit about the Titans, you know that he was actually a part of the inner circle called the Pantheon and he was pretty much the best warrior the Titans had and he was always on the front lines he was pretty much their main fighter so honestly I would consider him one of the strongest if not the strongest Titan out there so I don't think the Titans would be able to just kill him unless all of their forces combined plus also when he turned evil he's probably got more power than and was probably more powerful than he was before also he isn't out there right now he really can't be killed but he's kind of his state is kind of unknown right now but he's just floating in the twisting nether because he's a demon and demons can't really die okay so epic ninja nerd 7 asks do you think there can be an underworld expansion? What I mean is, say there is a giant hellish land beneath Azeroth, like Molten Core the size of Outland. There is lots of lore they could use. Say the elementals made this hollowed out to make their kingdom, not to be bothered by the old gods or the titans. I honestly doubt something like that, well in that scenario I mean, I definitely can see an underworld expansion, maybe something with the Nagas because we actually saw their town there in Cataclysm. And there can be a bunch of lore there because they escaped there 10,000 years ago and there was definitely some story there how they turned into Negas because they were the highborn and I mean there's still a bunch of lore down there so I can definitely see an expansion coming out related to that but I mean I can see how that would work if that's what you consider the an underworld expansion I mean like under the sea but Right now the lore is kind of really open when you when you think about it and they can pretty much come up with anything they can think about and they can find some way to just add it into the story. I mean for example, they can literally revive Grom Hellscream and then come up with a story that, that could just back it up. They, they could think about maybe some shamans before that he didn't actually die. So their hands are kind of open and pretty much anything at this point in the lore can be made. So it is possible but honestly at this current point in the lore i doubt something will be going on with the elementals and i'm guessing the main focus will be currently on the draenor part maybe after the words on sylvanas maybe after that something with the old gods or the titans who knows but i don't really see something going on with the elementals that is going to be huge or something like that all right next Sade games asks do you think we will fight an old god in their full power so all of the old gods that we know of today or that we can see or hear in World of Warcraft are chained up underground by the titans like when the titans came to the world that was more than 10,000 years ago and they fought with the old gods and they couldn't actually because they aren't killable so they had to chain them underground but yeah I mean they're definitely right now they're definitely not in their full strength because they would be definitely a lot stronger than what we could see before with Yogg-Saron or Katoon or whatnot but if they were in their strength I mean they would definitely reach a strength of a titan if not even more than that and it would be impossible like literally impossible for us mortals of the world to actually do any significant damage to them I mean we definitely wouldn't be able to kill them but we wouldn't even be able to damage them because I mean if the titans couldn't kill them and we can't really do anything to them I mean it's pretty obvious that we would be pretty much helpless unless we get some help from the titans or whatnot now from this point I can't really see us fighting the old gods of Azeroth but there is actually some evidence that there are actually old gods on other planets as well and that the old gods aren't just on the on the Azeroth so it could be possible that if we ever go to a new world or a different world maybe in like an alternate version of a world it could be made up later in the future and we could encounter some versions of the old gods maybe not the same as here but some sort of old gods 
Now, who knows what would actually happen there, but what, whatever it would be, it would definitely be an awesome encounter. Because just imagine fighting old gods, like uniting together and all of that. It would just be one of those epic battles that you just, you know, read in the books. Okay, next. Veratich asks... I have noticed that the grave of Terranus Manatil still stands above Undercity, but of course he was human and the Forsaken belonged to the Horde, so why would they let the grave stay there and not simply just get rid of it? Do you think that they have some kind of respect for him or something like that? So right now that is one of those things you know that, that Blizzard didn't actually explain, they did never actually address that thing that thing in the lore and there's a bunch of those right now in the story so yeah this is one of those things so i'm guessing that sylvanas isn't like holding insane respect for terranus or anything similar to that and that she was doesn't want to destroy the monument because because of that but i believe that one of the reasons that it is still there is maybe just to kind of like remind the forsaken of what they once were and that their current kingdom is kind of built on the destroyed kingdom of Lordaeron. And if they did actually destroy their previous leader's monument, it would kind of ruin everything they died for. But I think, as I said, I don't think it's there because Sylvanas or the Forsaken are holding like insane respect for Terranus. But it's kind of, as I said, it's kind of one of those things that we don't really know about that haven't really been talked about in the lore. Alright, and the last question is by Craig, and he asks, Do you think that Blizzard may keep hinting at Illyria or Torellian, possibly for a Warcraft 4 story? Maybe, wherever they are, they could also maybe run into Illidan and together fight the Burning Legion on their home turf, possibly allying themselves with some of those able to fight Sargeras' influence. It would be a great way to do an RTS that for adds to the Warcraft storyline, but doesn't immediately affect where we are right now in World of Warcraft. Well, I did actually make a video on that subject on Warcraft 4, so you can check that out on my channel. I covered a lot of points and what could work out and what not. So yeah, as I said, if you're interested in that, you can check it out on my channel. But honestly, I don't see them using Illyria or Terelian in that sort of a manner. I feel like they, they've been giving us these tiny hints for their possible appearance in the expansion after Worlds of Draenor. I think they confirmed on BlizzCon that we won't definitely see them in Worlds of Draenor, but it could be possible that we can see them afterwards. So I feel that they will play a pretty big role in World of Warcraft. Now, I don't really see too much potential in them being in Warcraft 4 or having a story revolving around them in the game like Warcraft, like a single player story, but right now it is kind of all just speculation and there isn't really too much evidence or anything solid that we can kind of lay back on, but I honestly think that if we are actually ever going to see them in the game or in the universe, Warcraft universe, that it, it will definitely be in the World of Warcraft, the MMORPG. Alright then, that is all I have for now, thanks for watching, don't forget to leave your questions for the next Q&A, you can do that as I said, either by YouTube personal messages, Q&A comment section or Facebook and Twitter. Again, thanks for watching, don't forget to like, favorite and subscribe. See you next time.